Cloud stocks may be the most resilient and fattest margin sector out there. They are immune to trade wars, inflation, manufacturing costs, and supply chain hiccups. Investors should be buying cloud stocks aggressively, but don't focus on any specific stock. Instead, buy the whole sector, all the stocks, and do it with leverage, specifically the CLDL ETF. I'm Skylar James, welcome back to the channel. This is a new leveraged 2X bull ETF from Direction that I think will outperform every other ETF out there, leveraged or not, in the next 10 years. You heard it here first. Maybe you disagree. Well, breaking news for you doubters out there, Direction has an ETF for you to buy. It's called CLDS and it's a leveraged 2x bear ETF of those same cloud stocks. It's like an investing version of choose your own adventure. Direction is no stranger to helping investors outperform the market. They have over 25 billion investing dollars sitting inside their leverage ETFs. That includes 4 billion in Soxel, the Semiconductor 3x ETF. You know I'm super bullish on that one already because you've heard semiconductors are the new oil, right? You know what's even better than the new oil? Data. You know what kind of stocks process the most data? Cloud stocks. This is the last point to touch on about semis, but it's important because it supports the idea of buying CLDL. The semiconductor bull market started five years ago. If you're just stepping up to the plate, you've missed a lot of the party, but if the endless headlines around semi-chip shortages is any indication, there is still plenty of life left in this party. With cloud stocks, we're still in the first round. There is a ton of time for investments in the cloud to mature. You can get in on it now on the ground floor with a leveraged ETF invested in the new oil. Does that sound exciting to you? Hit the like button and subscribe if this is a sort of investing thesis you like to hear more about from this channel. So what's inside this CLDL and CLDS and why in the world is it worth attacking with leverage? Check out these holdings. All of this is what I consider to be the next gen of tech. CrowdStrike, DocuSign, Twilio, Zoom, Snowflake, Paylocity. Look who else is at the top of this. Adobe, Oracle, Salesforce. These three old school tech stocks combine over 800 billion billion in market value. The market poured its investing dollars into these plays during the pandemic and the work from home surge. These stocks were protection from the unknown of COVID's earliest days. And some analysts, along with pretty much every talking head on CNBC, said cloud plays would crash back to earth when the economy reopened in 2021. Guess what happened instead? Just the opposite. Almost every stock I pointed out in CLDL's holdings is beating the S&P year to date. But what about valuation? Do you know what kind of multiple Snowflake is trading at? Sky high multiples. Yes, as in when a snowflake first falls out of the cloud, it's like literally as high in the sky as possible. That's Snowflake business valuation as well. It's considered one of the most richly valued stocks out there, but check out the year-to-date price to sales on this one. Earlier this year it was at 140, and now it's barely over 90, down 40 some percent with the same share price. It's hard to argue that the multiples aren't contracting, right? Having fantastic margins also helps. So I think as cloud companies like Snowflake continue to grow revenue, add customers, add industries and raise prices on their customers, that multiple will continue to shrink or at least be much more justifiable. Don't forget, cloud outfits are inflation proof because they can pass along rising costs onto their customers without hurting demand for their services. We looked at IBM in another video on this channel as a good play against inflation for this very same reason. But think broader than IBM. Think more cutting edge than IBM. Think about companies you hadn't even heard of a year ago. Stocks growing at tremendous rates. Guess who's buying these? cloud experts, not traditional stock pickers, but stock pickers with an advanced background in tech. Do you want an energy analyst or somebody who reviews Clorox's price action for a living telling you that cloud plays are 
too richly valued? Get out of here. Listen to the experts. Listen to Beth Kindig. Again, we're only in the second inning of the cloud based ball game. Look at how the index that CLDL tracks has outperformed the market in the last few years. Is cloud about to take a downturn? Are we going back to pen and paper? Are businesses going to stop analyzing data? Are they going to stop using cloud servers for remote access to data? Is Adobe Photoshop about to become obsolete? DocuSign going away? I'm not telling you this ETF is going to make you rich. Just ask some simple straightforward questions about these stocks and these businesses and then decide if attacking these with leverage is going to do your portfolio some favors and hey if you don't like it you can always buy clds and hope the share price falls so look this is the third leverage tech ETF I've looked at. Soxel was the first. It's already in my portfolio and I'm up on it. Ucyber was the second. I haven't started adding that yet, but the investing thesis behind it is solid. And CLDL offers me leverage exposure to a tech revolution barely in its second inning. What's not to like? Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.